Capricorn. So this is your prelude to the nitty gritty. Going to pull some energy for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If this reading doesn't resonate, <laughs> excuse me. Whew. If this reading doesn't resonate for you guys, um, then I advise you to go ahead and check your Moon and Rising signs. Also, in this part of the reading, this energy could be the person that you're dealing with. And then when I pull for um, the nitty gritty, that may be your energy over there, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on for Capricorn from now until the end of November. Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn and love? For now until the end of November, we have the Nine of Wands being very defensive, thinking about how defensive you've been, thinking about the things that made you um, defensive and, and quite paranoid in um, in the past here with the hermit card this is this is Sagittarius uh, Virgo energy here we have the king of swords in reverse this is not a good energy right here this is Aquarius energy I feel like Whatever happened to you that had you so defensive has changed you. It's made you a little jaded, I feel like, here. Okay, this is the King of Swords in the upright. Very, um, very acknowledged person, very smart. Um, People look up to the King of Swords and in the upright, this person is, you know, this is a counselor, this is this is a judge, this is a lawyer, this is somebody that is well respected, um, somebody that you can go to when you need advice. But in the reverse, this is like a very arrogant um, person that you know, they've been hurt. And so now, instead of using their good qualities, they can be very manipulative um, and hurtful in the things that they say. I feel like you gave your love to somebody in the past and they hurt you. We have water energy here now with the Knight of Cups. Um, and I feel like the person that you gave your love to, you felt like, you know, they weren't, um, they weren't reciprocating it like you felt they should. And I think that You gave your all in this connection. You gave your all in this connection. Um, you considered it a very stable, um, committed relationship, even a marriage. For some of you, for some of you, I feel like you even proposed marriage to this person. And they turned you down. Either you proposed marriage to this person and they turned you down, or you're thinking after the fact that being that um, you were very defensive in the past and probably didn't give the person what they wanted that they broke up with you 
And so now you're thinking about how things went and what you can do to fix this situation. And I feel like that's where this King of Swords in the reverse is coming from because it's like if I give them what they want, then, or if I say what they want, then I can get what I want here with the magician. But I don't know if it's being done for the right reasons because that King of Swords kind of, you know, rubs me the wrong way a little bit. If you're not ready for marriage, please don't offer it, okay? Because that's a lifelong commitment. Not to just get what it is that you want. And then we have this devil energy down here. And this could very well just be you because this is a sign of Capricorn, the devil. And it could just be you. Um, you know, just really focused on the connection between um, the two of you. I feel like you're, you, the devil with the high priestess is not giving me good vibes right here because not only is the high priestess intuition, but the high priestess is secrecy. The high priestess doesn't speak. And I feel like this is this is um, very um, contemplating um, energy here. Like, what can I do to turn this situation around? But it's, it doesn't feel like it's, it's, it's good. And maybe it's just the fact that you want this person back so badly that, you know, this devil energy is coming up and this is like obsessive obsession of anything, overdoing things. And I look at the hermit card as like this, this, this spiritual energy and I feel like you want to do the right thing. Whoever this is right here is wanting to do the right thing. Um, I just feel like this person's not going about it the right way. We have um, Pisces energy here as well. Aries, Gemini energy. Okay. Then we have the Four of Cups in reverse, guys. Four of Cups is, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Okay, the Four of Cups is when somebody is not is missing something. Okay. It's like they they are concentrating so on one thing that they they are missing the big picture. So in reverse, I feel like this King of Swords knows exactly how to maneuver to get what he wants. He sees that cup. He knows that the other person loves him or her. And I'm saying him because the King of Swords, I mean, it's just the gender of the cards, but this could very well be a female that's doing this, okay? The Magician also is a masculine type of energy, okay? So... And then, you know, there's a male in the Four of Cups down here, but it's in reverse. So I feel like this person knows exactly how, how the other person feels about them. And they know what the other person wants, what's going to make them move the way that they want them to move here. Okay. So 
I'm going to go ahead and pull the energy for the other person. You decide if this is you or if this is if this is the person that you're interested in. Um, and um, I'm going to go over and pull in a nitty gritty for the other energy. If you guys are interested, if this resonates for you, then come join me over there, okay? We'll see what the blockage is also, what the advice would be, and um, you know what the outcome, what the potential outcome is, okay?